All right, so here we are. We're doing another video on lipo bag tests by you guys' popular request. In fact, it's the most requested video that we've had of all of our content. Um, our video that we did uh, testing bags is pretty darn popular, and uh, you know I can see why. You know, if we're entrusting ourselves into uh, you know these different products on the table, and some of these are really quite expensive, well, they better work. So here we go, round two, lipo bag tests. Let's get out and see what we can do. All right, so here we have our lipo bags. And uh, one of the complaints we had in our last video is to, you know, we spend the time to unbag all of these on camera. We're not going to do that. We're just going to kind of blitz through these and uh, then we'll be able to take and, and do our burns and see how that goes. All right, so first up, let's dive right in here. So this is the dynamite bag. Uh, this is sold and distributed by uh, uh, Horizon Hobbies. This bag is $10.99 and is really similar to a lot of the generic style bags we found on Amazon in our last video, uh, of which, ironically, this is not. Um, so, you know, we'll see how that holds up. We'll see if there's any difference in the, uh, the dynamite side of things other than the list of precautions on the back that, you know, somehow identify them from bad. Um, okay, so that sucker aside, uh, next, all right, so next we have another bag sold by Horizon Hobbies, which is this sucker right here. Uh, and I am not impressed out of the gate, just being really honest. This is that generic style bag we saw all over Amazon. Uh, supposedly, this is produced by Team in Techie, uh, I believe is, is the, uh, the group. And uh, it's sold as a, a $7.49 um, bag. You know, it's, it's, it's a cheap bag. Um, but we didn't see great results with these, so again, we'll just kind of have to see how this one goes. Next up, we've got another one. Uh, this is by Horizon, or sold and distributed by Horizon Hobbies. Um, this is Venom. Now, Venom, they are a, a decent brand. Uh, they produce some really decent chargers. Uh, you'd think that they might actually know what they're doing. Um, now this bag has some interesting things going on with it where we actually have buttons and a very uh, different fabric. Um, it's much more floppy. Um, so we'll have to see what this one wants to do for us. Uh, this one is $16.49. And again, we got that at uh, horizonhobby.com. We'll see how that holds up. All right, now for the big hitter. Um, boy, oh boy, uh, the lipo sack. So lipo sack's an interesting bag. This is, uh, this is one of the first lipo bags that came on the market. And uh, this is a six battery storage capable bag. Um, again, the material, very, very different, very flexible compared to some of the other stuff that we've seen over here. Uh, the only downside with this bag is uh, it's expensive. This one is $37.73 plus shipping, and this one we got through uh, Hobby King. Um, in fact, we found that they were one of the only few distributors we could even find this on. Uh, I've heard good things just through the grapevine on this bag. We'll have to see. All right, next up is uh, Force RC. There we go. Um, now this is a bag that, you know, is basically identical to those large scale Amazon bags that we tested. Um, this one we purchased through, uh, uh, I believe, Horizon. Um, yeah, we did. Sure did. Horizon Hobbies, $15, $14.99. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a larger scale bag. Um, again, uh, more verbose legalese, but, uh, you know, we didn't see these hold up too well. So we'll see, we'll see how that sucker does. Uh, kind of mixed thoughts on that. We'll, we'll have to see how that does. Now, next up, we have another one from, uh, from Hobby King. We have uh, this multi-star bag. There we go, multi-star. Um, it's kind of interesting because again, it's made from what feels to be a thinner material. Very, very flexible. 
and it has a very different battery, uh, I mean a, a flap here for, for the batteries, the seam. Uh, the Velcro, very thin. Uh, if we you know, hold those up side by side, you can just see the, the overlap difference. Um, pretty pronounced. So uh, maybe a little bit different design on this. You know, we'll have to see. Uh, so again, we got this one from, uh, from Hobby King. And uh, this was, uh, boy, I'll tell you, a steal at $3.47. But $3.47, you know, cheap can be real expensive if cheap doesn't work. All right, so speaking of Multistar, here we go. So this is one of the outliers here um, that we've got. So this is touted as being a 1400 milliamp battery, uh, multi-battery safe, hard case. Um, and it's got a little clip-on strap, Velcro, uh, or not Velcro, uh, zippered. Um, side here. But uh, I, I don't know. So I think we're going to test this one and probably the uh, the original um, lipo sack a little differently, being that this is multi chambered. Keep that in frame for you guys. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take and put a, a test charge here and a dummy one here and see if it ignites the second charge. And we'll do something similar with the uh, the original lipo sack. Interesting idea. You know, um, we'll zip this thing shut and hopefully it works. All right, so next up, coming up at the top end of the scale price-wise, oh, a little bit of a stretch there. We have uh, Tekken. Um, and so this is one of those little block style uh, bags. Um, we picked this up uh, for a fairly heavy price, um, which is it's kind of surprising for what it is. Uh, this was seventeen dollars, and uh, you know, for seventeen dollars, um, I hope it performs. However, we tested very similar bags in our last video to this uh, at a fraction of the cost. Um, you know, maybe we're just getting some some cute branding. So we'll we'll have to see how that holds up. I've got very 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 mixed feelings on that. All right, so coming back in at the low end of the scale. Um, we've got Turnigy, and uh, this is actually a big bag. This is a nice bag. In fact, uh, we kind of fell in love with just using these bags for transport just because they're so easy, you know, knowing that eh, they may not be the best for, for um, uh, you know, actually preventing or, or protecting uh, anything with fire. Uh, so nice little bag, though. The trick is this is only $4.22 off of uh, Hobby King, so it is a really decent price. Uh, again, these larger bags, eh, you know, they perform so-so. The trick is with these, though, is these are designed to hold many batteries. In fact, again, when we go out flying, you know, we'll take one of these and we'll throw nine, three or four cell 2200s in it. So, um, you know, if one of those erupted, I'm pretty certain we'd get a chain reaction. We'll have to see how that holds up. So next up, I mean, if you're going to... If you're going to, you know, brand it, you better do it right. There it is, HobbyKing.com. Uh, we got this from, from Hobby King, obviously. Um, so it's a, a flat style bag with a big, you know, front zipper. Again, very, very thin overlapping flap right there, um, which is kind of interesting. Um, this one was, was dirt cheap. This was $2.53. Um, you know, again, if it works, great. If it doesn't. Well, we'll have to see, but if you're gonna put your name on it, sell it as a lipo safe and something that's protecting people, well, yeah, you better do it right. So we'll see if they did. All right, up here again, we've got uh, another Horizon Hobby product. Um, so this is Conexus, uh, sold by Horizon. And uh, there we go, we'll get our little bit of label there. Um, so nice little bag, you know, it definitely feels rigid. I will say it does have a thicker construction than, uh, you know, some of the other bags that we've seen, it feels like, um, for, for being the same dimensions. Uh, the Conexus is not a bad bag, you know, at, at a glance, but, uh, you know, we're gonna just have to burn it and, and see how it does. Um, kind of excited to see how that holds up. Uh, this sucker was uh, $8.99, again, off the Horizon uh, website. Got ourselves a, a smattering of bags going here. 
Uh, next up, we've got yet another, you know, white label branded product. So there's our uh, our Hobby King endorsement again, um, sitting there on this this bag. Uh, nice little bag. It looks like it's designed for single cell kind of setup for uh, oh, probably about a 2200, three or four cell, uh, just at a glance. Um, you know, it might be interesting to try wrapping individual batteries with these and then putting them in one of the more, you know, larger scale multi bags. Um, I could see that actually working out better. And at $2.53, that's kind of a cheap price. That's, that's a pretty good deal. I, I, I don't know. I might try that. I might actually give that a whirl. Maybe even a part three kind of test here. We'll start layering bags up. Could be fun. All right. And last but not least, We've got our Turnigy bag here again, and uh, this one is $2.53. Uh, we picked this one up uh, again from uh, Hobby King, and uh, you know, looks like a nice little bag. This might be one of those that could work well for a, a six cell uh, battery, um, wrapping it and then, you know, being placed inside another bag as well. Kind of similar to what we are, are thinking with this Hobby King. So, yeah. Not too bad. We got a heck of a load loadout here. Now we're going to be using our cannon fuse over there, um, and this is just standard slow burn cannon fuse. Uh, we've already covered out uh, all the details on that um, in a previous video, uh, so go ahead and watch that if you want to find out how we're doing our testing. Uh, but we're basically matching the the energy output here of a um, smaller, I believe it was a, a fourteen hundred or even a one one thousand uh, milliamp battery and uh, so we're making little charges with this and uh, we'll test each one of these bags here uh, let's let's get to the fire now all right next up we have our hobby king envelope style bag uh, let's give this a whirl see what it does Boy, you can't see it on camera, but that unleashed a black cloud of toxic smoke. Wow. Huge, huge. Oh, I don't even want to be near this right now. Because that's got a funk. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see the heat penetration in our, uh, our foam board. Um, that did not work well. Um, it's funny because the back of the bag doesn't look that bad. Whew. Yeah, I hate to say it, I'd call that a fail. I'm not impressed. All right, next up I've got uh, one that I have some hopes on. This Venom bag is made of a really weird rubberized material. Uh, let's see what it does. Well, so definitely two jets of fire coming out of this bag. However, the bag is, boy, in really great shape. Now this does not have Velcro on it. It's held together by those buttons. That is way too hot to touch right now. I'll come back to that. We'll open that up. All right, so we've seen these a few times before, but uh, we're gonna burn another. Uh, Let's see how this holds up. Wow. Well, the paper shows it all. And what it doesn't show is up in the sky. Boy, that is nasty stuff. Look at the bag. Just melted and deforming. Fire jet came out of the side. And uh, yeah, that bag is melted and leaving residue. Now this is a best case example with the load that we're using, so. All right, we've got our, uh, our dynamite bag ready to go. Uh, same kind of design as many of the other bags on the market. I will say, the material feels a little different. Let's see if it behaves differently. Yeah. 
Wow. I guess not. So we've got another big jet plume that came out. And, uh, oh yeah, melted to the, to the, pay, the uh, foam board. Yeah, that one, uh, that one's not on my list. All right. Yeah. All right, next up we've got our uh, multi-star here. We've actually got our primary charge here and a half charge here. And let's see if it uh, hits them both. Wow, well, uh, first impression, there was a jet of fire that came out, but it seemed to be very quickly suppressed. Far less smoke than I've seen on others. Boy, I don't wanna read that. <sighs> so it annihilated the foam in the top, but the foam in the bottom actually did its job. All right, Multistar. That one, you've got a vote from me. That worked well. All right, next up is the Conexus. Well, that was interesting. Far less smoke that time around. Uh, dark colored. The bag is completely melted. But I feel like it almost had a suppressing effect. It was far less violent than we've seen. Hmm, I'll have to think about this one. All right, next up, our, uh, our high-priced Tekken. Uh, it comes with a nice little strap though. See if that helps. Woo. Well, a cloud of smoke was giant on that one. And oh my gosh, yeah, that baby is puckered. But it is in one piece. Huh. I'm not sure what I think about that one. Oh wow, that is completely melted. And the uh, stitching has melted on the inside of the Velcro too. All right, next test is Hobby King. <laughs> that actually performed pretty well. All the way around. Material seems to have held up. Boy, it's hot. Well, shoot, I thought I was gonna be making fun of that one. That's all right. All right, next up, we're gonna do our turnage variant. Uh, let's see what this little uh, bag will do. Yeah, the bags that have a, uh, a larger space inside to kind of capture those gases seem to perform better. They don't get as hot. Definitely some scorching, but uh, the bag hasn't failed and I feel like there's almost a suppression thing that happens there. Uh, that's not bad. Single battery setup, yeah, I could get behind Eternity. All right, the Force RC, let's give this a try. Woo! Well, we're getting that plume of fire out, scorching things. Uh, that's kind of indicative of these bag styles. Um, our stitching's come undone on the interior, so we were just about at a failure for the whole bag. And uh, lots of melting there, lots of heat. 
heat penetration on this. I don't know. I don't know that I like the flat bags. All right, next up we have the original lipo sack. Now, we have our main charge here. We have a dummy charge here. And uh, this much of a fold over in the bags is exposed. We'll see if it ignites the, uh, the other one. Well, it did not. It did not ex it ignite this. However, man, that was a fireball and a half that came out the top of that. Uh, you know, if if we did have a a Daisy Jane effect, I don't know that that's the bag to put it out. Some interesting discoloring there, and uh, whoo, that plastic's hot as hell, boy. Melt your fingers off. Next up, we've got our multi-star. Let's, uh, let's give that a whirl. Well, that's the first time I've seen a bag completely inflate and puff like that and maintain its pressure. I attribute that to the fact it has that thinner seal with a very small gap. Um, I hate to say it, I'm impressed. Multi-Star's bag design. That's probably one of the best designs I've seen. Um, single battery, I'm on board with that. And we didn't get very bad heat penetration. Not bad. All right, our Venom bag's cooled. Uh, looks like our button's held. The inside is totally carbonized. But that bag completely held. Very impressed. <sighs> All right, so uh, boy, we burned some bags there. Uh, the the kind of shocker for me was uh, the brand Multistar. I'd say those really actually impressed me overall. Um, you know that uh, that hard case. You know, I looked at that foam inside and thought, oh man, there's a fireball just waiting to happen. Wasn't so. Actually, it worked really well at suppressing the fire. Um, yeah, not a bad case. I'd have to say that's probably going to end up on my, uh, my shopping list. Um, you know, the other one that kind of surprised me was the Venom bag. Now, it shouldn't surprise me. I mean, if you got a company that's manufacturing chargers, batteries, and bags, you'd think they'd do all three well, and they did. The, uh, the metal snaps, that was nice. Uh, the design of the bag and the material of the bag was different than everything else we tested. Um, so I'd say, uh, whatever they're doing there, they've got a little bit of, a secret formula and it's it's working for them um, you know that being said we had some that didn't perform as well and uh, you know I think that's a, a good reminder that there's lots of products on the market some will surprise you that they're they're decent others you know why are they being sold by the vendor um, because it's gonna kind of besmudge their name and uh, there, there were a few of those in this and uh, you know it makes me kind of wonder and well that's why we do these videos is you guys get to decide and you guys have the power to vote with your dollar uh, you get to vote what companies and what products are successful and what ones aren't based on how you spend your money and if these videos can help make you know help you make a, a more informed decision it's kind of the, the fun we're having with it so yeah, there we go. Uh, we burned some bags. Um, we had some fun. I will say this, um, just out of kind of an interesting thing here, observation-wise, I'm going to look more into what these bags are made out of. But, uh, you know, reaching down with my hand and, and grabbing those bags, got some smoke on them. And, uh, well, there's a, a hell of an itch there. Uh, so there might be some fiberglass in those bags. Be real careful if you reproduce these tests. Do not breathe that smoke. Be super safe. Heck, I don't even recommend reproducing these tests. But if you do, make sure you're uh, taking every precaution possible. So there we go. Bag test 2.0. Let us know in the comments what you think, uh, what you thought did well, what didn't, and uh, what bags you'd like to see tested in round three because I got a feeling these are gonna be uh, a lot of fun to keep doing over and over and over. And we'll see as you know, we do these if bag technology improves. Uh, yeah, so until then, Keep flying.
And don't burn your house down. But keep flying.